Oddly enough, I happened to think about the premise for this video walking home from work. The thought had never intersected over these two cartoons while watching, as one is in the greatest use of the word vastly different than the other. However, they both approach a similar goal in storytelling. Bunsen is different from everyone else. However, in an elementary fashion, Butch Hartman goes as extreme as possible visually to present this. The character of Bunsen is an oddity to the world around him because the way he talks, the way he acts, the way he lives, and the way he executes problems is incredibly eccentric. Sure, Bunsen accepts himself, but barely adapts to those around him. He shoves his weirdness on others, but outside of confetti cupcakes, the show doesn't present that he's learned how his actions affect others. Mikey still befriends him, and the general goal of the series is to show that no matter how different a person is, you should accept them for who they are. The same applies to Welcome to My Life, but this takes a calm and simple approach. Instead of having the character as eccentric as possible, an episode in rapid fire pacing and slapstick humor every few seconds, we're taken on a calm and simple slice of the life of Tikesh. We learn how he acts toward those who disagree and find him odd. We learn how he accepts his appearance and himself. The 8 minutes of Welcome to My Life told more about the world from Tikesh's point of view than all of the episodes Bunsen is a Beast has presented so far. Look, I understand that one is on a more mature level than the other, but being different is tough, trust me, I've been there. And having a cartoon that channels that feeling, one that perfectly captures that, that you can relate to, can be amazing and special. And that's probably one of the reasons why I truly dislike Bunsen as a Beast, because I know that Butch Hartman has the potential to come from the heart with these cartoons, but it just didn't feel like Bunsen was really a character that was based out of passion. However, I felt passion oozing out of Elizabeth Ito's story in Welcome to My Life. I know this is a shorter video, but I wanted to discuss this because it was on my mind for a little while now. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'm Brian Swan, and as always, stay tuned for more from the Animation Nation.